What's up? And welcome back to Interpreting the Scares! That's right, we're back at it on our month-long journey through the nightmares with yet another film that I've never seen, though I think I have seen the poster for this film floating around at least. This is a movie that I definitely wound up having quite a few mixed feelings on overall, so without further ado, let's chat about a little movie called The House of the Devil. So The House of the Devil is a 2009 horror film written and directed by Ty West. It takes place in the early 80s when a college student by the name of Samantha Hughes accepts a babysitter position at a really creepy man's house. Turns out that he has no child and he hired her under false pretenses and some really shady devil worshipping stuff is going on. So like I said, I definitely have mixed feelings on this film so let's start off with some of the good. This is a movie that definitely loves horror of the past, specifically speaking movies shot and produced in the 80s. This movie feels incredibly authentic as an 80s film. It does not feel like 2009 whatsoever. Everything from the production design to the equipment used to the hair and makeup to honestly to the props and the product placement is exactly what you would find in the 80s. It's been such a long time since I've seen so much devotion put into a time period. Usually when a movie does stuff well in that department, it's typically focusing on only one or two aspects like hair and makeup or production and set design. But usually it still feels pretty crisp and clear like it was produced in modern day. This was pretty grainy because they legitimately filmed it on 80s movie cameras like 16mm film. Plus it really only used stuff that was available back then. They even released it on VHS and yeah, you know what, they pulled it off. The women's hair in the film, likewise, it has a, a bob going on that's kind of hard to replicate today because that was almost an art form to get right back then. And whenever they try to fake it in movies now, I feel like it's done with wigs or like with really bad fake looking styling. This looked again authentic. So major props behind the scenes because you have all these people in the crew working that I'm sure had to stay on the same page. And I'm ultimately impressed at the end of the day. The concept though, you know, it's not bad, but I've always struggled for years to really get that engaged with devil worshiping premises. Same goes here. And I think what they were going for wasn't terrible, wasn't horrible, but it's missing some exposition as far as what the heck the villains are even trying to accomplish. They were essentially purposefully vague in an attempt, I assume, to keep the audience guessing. But because I'm not always that invested in devil worship stuff, I didn't care that much to keep guessing. I just wanted things to be a little bit more clear, and it wasn't. Not only that, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the pacing of the movie, which I found to be sluggish. To be frank, I was bored. It had a strong introduction overall, but it took forever to get to the point, like nothing happens at all, until maybe the third act. And I'm not lying when I say that the actual plot of the film doesn't seem to even come into play until the last 15 minutes of the film. And by then there's not enough time to explore what's going on or what it all means or why it's so important or anything. It's actually quite aggravating to me if I'm being honest. So yeah, I mean, visually, the film's amazing. It's authentic, it's nostalgic, it does things that horror movies and honestly, any movie should do whenever it's trying to convey time period. It went the extra mile where others have it in order to sell time to the audience. As far as the devil worship stuff though, I don't know. It just felt like every other time devil worship's been used in film before. And maybe that's a nod to horror films of the past, but I just, I found that that made the film feel unoriginal, uncreative, and uninspired at the end of the day. Am I glad that I saw it? The artist inside of me screams yes, but the film fanatic inside of me is indifferent. I don't feel like I ultimately got anything out of it at the end of the day, and it's one of the only times this month that I felt like a movie has kind of dipped in quality overall. At least as far as writing is considered. I mean, I found it to be unscary. When I think about how it works as a thriller, I found the tension alone to be mediocre at best. You know, maybe it's just not my cup of tea, you know? Let us quickly throw up my end score. As you can see, it got a C- letter score with a final numeric score of 58%. I'm not entirely sure why my app used the Spanish title, but I digress. 
my score was split between an unbiased score of 60% and a slightly lower bias score of 56%, which ultimately just means that the movie was made well in terms of the visuals, and that goes into a lot of stuff all on its own, but I wasn't impressed with much more than just the visuals. Without those visuals looking as great as they do, I don't think that the movie would have held up at all, really. And I wasn't all that invested as a whole, which is why at the end of the day it got a mediocre score. Maybe I'm alone in that though, maybe you loved it. So I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this film. If you've seen it, what did you think about The House of the Devil? Let me know in the comments section down below, and as for YouTube, you guys know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. To be notified when I come up with my next review, and until then, peace out.